Welcome again to this month of mindfulness and we're going to take a little time today to keep with the attitude of being open and focused on the present time as we tangle a wee tile today with a little mono tangle and that day two will bring us up a grid based pattern called bales. No matter what size or shape your string is today a grid based tangle will still work within. Again I'm going to work with my micron pen, my pencil and a tortillon. First of all we'll need to pop in our string, our border that gives us our guidelines about where I'm going to stop and start on each of the tangles. So pick up your pencil and draw your string. If you're not working on the same shape as me that's absolutely fine. It will still work. Once we have our string in, we can move to a pen. And I'm going to draw a little grid. I might draw these angles. My grid is going to have straight lines in one direction. And hmm, I think I might even go for straight lines in the other direction. But if yours not a perfect grid, don't worry, I'm not trying to look like graph paper. You don't need to get out your ruler. So once you've got your grid, just keep with the acceptance of it's fine the way it is. If it's not square, perfect square, accept them. If your grid is not graph paper, accept it. If your lines are not evenly spaced, accept them. If they wiggle about a bit, accept them. They are what they are, and how you've drawn them is just fine. Be deliberate and be purposeful, and concentrate on your line here and now. Each of these grid squares then needs to have a line that goes from the corner out for a little bit and back to the next junction. Out and back in. I'm just going to follow along down this line in the middle. Some people prefer to draw towards them. Other people like to take their pen and draw away. Have a play. See which one suits you best. As you go from the junction out back to the junction. And I'm going to do this to all of the lines going in my vertical direction on my tile. Then I will often rotate my tile round and do the same stroke the other way. Some people prefer to do each of these as one little individual element. And if that's the way you want to do yours, that's fine. Just go your pen line from the junction of the grid out and back to the junction. Slowly, deliberately, just concentrate on your pen, where it is heading, where it is going to. And once I've done all of these in one direction, I'll rotate the tile 90 degrees and I'll do the same for the ones in the other direction, the ones, the lines that are perpendicular to the first one. If you find it easier to complete each of these steps as one up and one down, please do. When you're drawing, don't forget to breathe. You don't need to hold your breath as you draw your pen. So sometimes when you have a stroke followed by another stroke, it can be quite fun to do it with your breath too. In and out. In and out. Once I have done all the ones on the inside of the section, I might also use my string line. 
to give me that same straight and pop in my two lines either side. We can see with this shape here I haven't got a square at all. There's no grid square involved. That's fine. It will still work. It does not matter what size or shape of these little grid squares you've got. Some people their wee bale shapes look like basmati rice. Other people perhaps it's sushi. Doesn't matter. Yours will just be perfect the way they are. Just accept it and move on. Once I have filled all my grid square, grid edges here, I can go move to shading. I'll pop my pen down and I'm just going to do a very simple bit of shading. Just going to pop a little bit of graphite in one corner of my grid square and use my torsion to gently pull it out across the area. And I'm going to do that with all of my little grids. Just choose each one individually and fill a little bit of graphite into the square. Enjoy listening to the sound that your pencil makes as it pops the graphite onto the tile. Sometimes when you only have a small section it just might involve just a tiny bit of graphite. And then gently use your blending tool to pull the graphite out and perhaps across to the area that you want to fill. Each time we're not thinking about what to do, we're just doing the same repetitive stroke as we move on with the tangle the same repetitive shading. If you're not using a blending tool at all and you're just using careful shading, that's fine too. You'll find just pushing a little bit of a blend into the graphite just pushes the graphite into the texture of the paper and gives you a smoother finish. But if you like the little textured finish, that's fine too. And once we're done, again, rotate it round. See if there's one way you prefer over the other. Once you have done, add your little chop. Yours won't look like mine. Mine is a wee play on my initials. That can be a fun way to have a go when you're trying to work out what you want to do as your chop. Just have a play with your initials. Maybe they're back to front, back to back, one inside the other. It's a lovely wee exercise in play. And once we're done, again, yours may not look like mine. Here's a couple of others I did. Here I chose to shade the little bales shapes instead. I did an inner aura and then filled that with graphite. On this one I had a bit of shading as if it was the whole thing and just did all of the inside and then all of the outside. I hope you've had fun too. And however you choose to shade yours, I look forward to seeing them.
if you choose to post them on social media. Otherwise, just enjoy and appreciate your little artwork today. <laughs>